Hey, yo, Wastelanders, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Today, Bethesda released the Fallout 76 Inside the Vault, kicking off Season 1. That is right, Season 1 is starting next week on June 30th, and we're going to go over all the stuff that you get, because they have released images of every single item you're going to get on the roadmap. So stay tuned, and let's get right on into it. All right, if you guys want to see the full article, I'll have a link down in the description, but they're basically saying update 20 arrives on June 30th, and it's going to include the seasons. And they give, you know, we've covered this in the past. Basically, every day you're going to come in and you're going to earn score by doing challenges. And they're going to be the new daily and weekly challenges. So everyone that you mark off is going to add to your score. And every time your score gains EXP, it has a chance to level up and you can max out at level 100. So basically, every time you get another score, you're going to be able to unlock a new item on the board and after the first two weeks uh july 14th you're going to be able to spend 150 atoms to basically skip a level and progress ahead so if you want to whale your way out of this and just buy it all you can do that but you have to wait two weeks and i'm assuming every day doing all the dailies and the weeklies is only going to get you a set amount maybe every day you can gain one or two levels and every weekly gets you about three or four and then maybe every week you can get a certain amount of levels so you're not going to be able to finish the board game early unless you actually play every single day so that's pretty much how it works um and then they talked about the rewards they're adding these new things in called lunch boxes when you open them up you get 25 percent more exp and it's going to do that for all of the nearby players it stacks four times so you and your friends can open up four lunch boxes and you'll get 100 percent exp for one hour and it'll also give you other uh buffs such as like bonus damage reduced thirst or hunger etc etc they're also adding in an ammo converter uh, which is unlocked at rank 5 it allows you to exchange unwanted ammo for ammo you need the way it works is essentially you cash in your ammo and you get ammo points and uh, then you convert your ammo points into ammo but I do think there is a net loss here so you can't just take you know craft 185 millimeter rounds and convert it into 18556 rounds that'd be broken so in the end of the day I think you're going to lose ammo by doing this so if you really want you know you're desperate for ammo it's a good good option but you're better off selling your ammo and then buying the ammo that you need in my opinion uh, vault tech supply packages these are bundles of crafting materials that you're going to get that give you just a little boost of materials they're going to add in fireworks which you can shoot up into the sky which is kind of fun and then you're going to get a whole bunch of aesthetics such as the um, appalachian thunder pipe and the new atomic onslaught power armor which is amazing as well as stuff here camp rewards so that's basically the overview let's go look at the actual actual rewards that the entire roadmap has. Okay, so I'll have a link down in the description below. You can see the legendary run season one on the actual Bethesda page, and uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, you're unlocking rewards, you're gaining score, you're ranking up, and you're moving across this themed board game over the next 100 days, uh, or 10 weeks this is going to last for. So rank one, you're getting a Casbo, a Captain Cosmos legendary icon, then you get your supply packages, which is going to be more materials, a clean sink, which is rather interesting <laughs> it's kind of random and then because I, I was looking through it and i didn't see any other stuff but i just took a quick glimpse but we're gonna go over it in detail here in the video an ammo converter which is actually cool because it's another cool thing for your camp and then the gilly wood armor paint uh, which is kind of lackluster because if you played nuclear winter you would have gotten the ghillie suit which just applies as a costume and it applies over everything but this one is a little bit better because it applies directly to the wood armor so i think it looks i guess better than the ghillie suit i'm not exactly sure i'd have to get in game in game and compare them but we'll see this ghillie suit popping up over and over again and i want to discuss my thoughts and opinions on this first season and uh, i think there's some good and some bad as well so you get your lunch boxes which is three so that's a 75% EXP bonus for one hour. Um, and if you and all your friends pop it, that's basically, uh, if you're playing with four people, everyone's going to get 100% EXP for three hours, which isn't bad, but it's not great either. I, I would much rather have like 10 of these because <laughs> you'll blow through three so quickly before you get more. And it's such a small effect unless you're on a team. So it's kind of a mediocre reward. You get a, a basically an onslaught Pip-Boy paint, which is just red. <laughs> but you got to remember some of these things come 
costs like a few hundred atoms in the shop. So you're getting quite a bit um, of atoms overall. Another supply crate, 150 atoms, which, you know, compared to what we were able to get before, it's not a whole lot. So I was actually guesstimating that it would be about 200 atoms and it's actually less. All right, 11 through 20, a thousand caps, which is, it's like, okay, sure. Ghillie leather armor paints. So we're seeing the uh, ghillie suit pop up again, but for the leather armor and it's like, okay, they just reskinned it to a different piece of armor, which is okay, I guess. More supply packs, the wooden bow skin perk card pack, which is, we're getting those every five levels anyways. I don't like that we're getting perk card packs because we don't really need them, I guess. Uh, legendary scripts, 100. Again, we're earning those in game. I don't like the fact that there were uh, tying rewards that we get in game to this because it's like I've already seen this for my three, 400 hours experience on this game. Um, more lunch boxes. And then here we go. Big, big daddy power armor paint, the Onslaught T45. So it's a very specific paint and it's not the best looking, just a little bit of red on on the eyes and some gold uh but power armor paints usually go for like 800 to 1600 atoms so it's good value i guess and this one's really cool glow in the dark wallpaper uh that's just amazing everyone likes a good wallpaper for their settlements and then another 150 atoms so so far the only things that are getting me kind of excited is the clean sink the ammo converter and the wallpaper that's probably it that gets me excited next uh gold bullion here we go ghillie metal armor so they're just gonna keep reskinning the ghillie suit and i honestly don't like that because it's not space themed like come on this is the uh the legendary space run right with captain cosmo why not like a captain cosmo skin on all the different pieces you know um fireworks a flying saucer which you could place in your camp i like that so another one for me to get excited about and then they just re keep reusing the power armor paint but applying it to the t51 now so i guess by the time you get through this whole roadmap you're gonna have the ghillie suit and the power armor paint for all of your power armors and different various armor types which i guess the power armor paint doesn't really look too space themed it says onslaught but it doesn't look too spacey to me and the ghillie suit has nothing to do with space so it's it's kind of a little lackluster and they're just reusing it why not just have a reward that gives you the paint on all power armors but i guess it is what it is uh the ghillie hunting rifle that actually looks amazing so i like that it's something to get excited about if you use the hunting rifle which most end game players don't <laughs> So that's unfortunate. The fireworks are kind of fun. I like this. Um, again, there's good value in these skins because they're usually pretty expensive on the atomic shop. Next, 200, uh, 2,500 caps. So it's going up a little bit. The ghillie backpack. Now that's cool because yeah, it gives you a little bit more incentive to um, use the ghillie suit now that you have the backpack to match it. I like it. So that's really, really cool. Um, scrap kits. Uh, <laughs> I never like scrap kits. They just allow you to scrap all your stuff. Um, I mean, there's scrapping stations everywhere in this game. Blood Eagle, Player Icon, okay. Uh, the Sheep Squatch plushie, those are great. A lot of people like to try to collect plushies. I just started my plushie collection. I think I have like three or four. I got a lot of catching up to do, so I'm actually excited about that one. And the Excavator Power Armor Paint, I actually use the Excavator Armor, so I like that one. And yeah, so that's really exciting. The the Ghillie Backpack, the, the plushie, and I guess the Power Armor Paint. Next, all right, Gold Boolean, 20 five only which doesn't even account to what you do for in one daily again rewards that you can earn in game rewards you can earn a game it's like uh okay uh, repair kits, meh. Photo frames, does anyone actually use those? <laughs> Gilly robot armor paint. Um, okay, so I mean, that actually looks nice. It does look cool. Uh, Blood Eagle paint. Again, like Blood Eagle theme, it's not really anything re related to the, the, the overall legendary run. And then we get the, the T60 power armor paint as well. Now, the hanging raider cage is uh, <laughs> for your camp, and I think that's freaking badass. That's really, really cool. I have a place I want to use that, and I think it's gonna look really cool so yeah i mean not the greatest rewards i'm excited about the tree and the power armor paint i guess and the ghillie suit it's okay next uh, 150 atoms 50 gold boolean the ghillie combat armor paint now this is the problem with these paints is you're, you're using amalgamation of all these different pieces you know you might have one combat armor one leather blah 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 but i guess by the time you beat the whole roadmap you can skin ghillie onto each one and you'll have like a unique looking ghillie suit so that's something uh but at, at, as you're unlocking them you're only gonna be able to do it on a few pieces and it's gonna be a little bit strange that's why i wish it was more of like a universal thing and 
and then they actually sprinkled in more rewards. Uh, glow in the dark stars and planets wallpaper to go with your other wallpaper. That's an exciting one. And the uh, Onslaught X01 power armor paint and a dark matter combat rifle, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do like the combat rifles in this game. So that's a pretty sick one. So I like that. I like the, the wallpaper and that's about it. Next, Gilly scout armor paint. That's pretty nice looking too. And the uh, Uncle Sam pose. Yes, we need more poses in the game. Loving that. That's a great one. And fireflies in a jar ceiling lamp. We already got the frog in the jar. Now we can have the fireflies in the jar and it hangs from the ceiling. That's actually really exciting. Love that one. Future tech camp deployable. So camp skins are kind of fun, but they're, you know, most people tuck their camps out of the way. So, uh, but it's nice. It's definitely a nice addition. And then we get the um, ultra sight power armor paint, which actually looks pretty nice. I think that's one of the nicer looking ones out of all of them. And I'll probably paint my ultra sight to look like that. Next, uh, gold bullion, marine armor, ghillie suit, and secret service power armor play player icon. That's kind of fun. And this is awesome. The chicken coop. Set up chicken coop and generate fertilizer for your farm. Good googly moogly. I just like having another building in my base. And when I built the, the farm in the past, that would have been great. My new base is a little bit different and doesn't really have a nice setup for this. But I like incorporating incorporating multiple different buildings and try to create more of a settlement than a camp. And uh, that's that's a great one. That's absolutely amazing. Um, <clears throat> the handmade blood eagle paint. That's sick. I'm using the black one right now and I wish I didn't buy it because I would way rather use this. <laughs> but there you go. The blood eagle paint for your handmade. Everyone <laughs> uses a handmade. That is freaking amazing. Definitely one of the most exciting items in this whole thing. And then the atomic onslaught T65 power armor paint, which looks like a baboon in my opinion. It looks amazing though. Okay, next, our Gilly Secret Service Arbor Paint, Scrap Kits, Clean Sweep Pose. That's awesome. He's doing it like he's playing curly. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, per card packs times two and the uh, Space Explorer Jangles Backpack. That's freaking amazing. That's a really good one. I love that. And uh, it's going to look really good with the spacesuit outfits. Um, they just released a spacesuit outfit on the Atomic Shop, which I bought with a pack. And then we have the Captain Cosmos Power Armor at, what is this, level 85 or something, 87? So that's a really good one. That's like the coolest skin you could possibly get for Power Armor, in my opinion, right now, currently. It's definitely like a complete redo. It's amazing. So that's great. That's great. That's great. Meh. Next, and White Raider Skull Mask, which, I mean, they've sold this on the shop before it's just a repaint but still okay um appalachian thunder pipe which is a gatling gun reskin which looks pretty awesome and the captain cosmos jetpack that's amazing nine lunch boxes for this one and then you get the pink blue and green captain cosmos sets which is a little bit upsetting because i just bought the pack which came with orange and the whole pack was like i don't know 1200 atoms but you got some other stuff with it so i'm gonna be running around as captain cosmos during this event uh, or the season and eventually I'll switch to the blue one but they're charging for orange when you get blue for free <laughs> but finally we're getting you know in the last tiers of the event you know literally the last tiers we're getting space 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 finally some space stuff and then the last page is the planetary lamp which actually projects lights onto the walls and uh, that it's really nice it's actually quite phenomenal the jangles beer steins to put on your beer stein collection that you got from Fosnot, which is great. The uh, frame Captain Board, Captain Cosmos board game for your wall, another great one. And uh, Captain Cosmos Dark Matter Jetpack, as well as the Dark Matter uh, Power Armor skin, which looks pretty good. I prefer the white ones better, uh, more myself. I would have preferred those to be the last reward in the whole thing. Um, they look great. I think they're the, the best ones. But there we go. We're finally seeing space stuff. So how much space stuff did we end up seeing out of this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 with the two wallpapers, and 14 with the uh, flying saucer. So 14 items. I don't know what's up with the clean sink. Everyone wants a clean sink, though. This is going to go great because we're a lot of people are building bathrooms in their settlements now. But it's like, why not give us a clean toilet, a clean bathtub? I guess that's going to be next season. <laughs> like, what is the deal with that? I would have liked to see a little bit more camp items like this like they start you off getting the clean sink and you're thinking oh there's gonna be more stuff like this nope uh <laughs> so 14 spaced ice themed items out of 100 rewards that's literally 14 percent of the rewards when this thing is you know space themed uh i would have liked to see a lot more in here orientated towards the space game itself you know um i like the idea of getting some of these costumes like this earlier on so you as you're playing the 
event you you can kind of represent the event and then have like some more epic rewards as you go the ghillie suit idea should have been saved for some sort of like wastelander uh nuclear winter i don't know some different theme a war theme you know something like that it would have worked better somewhere else and uh what i would have liked to see in its place is something a little bit more cosmos related i'm not a big fan of the ghillie suit especially because i just grinded nuclear winter to get the ghillie suit and they're just like well can we do let's just attach this to all the different armor pieces and it's like oh what was the point of grinding out that nuclear winter <laughs> Uh, oh boy so there's a lot of like underwhelming items in here but i think by playing through the whole thing you're going to come out with a lot of rewards now i did a little bit of an estimation of what the value was before and i think that has been reduced a lot looking at what what these are because they're always reskins 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 but they're the same just fitted to a different model so can we really value these at 800 each i think once you get the whole pack where it allows you to apply it to all the armors then it's worth 800 right uh because usually when you buy like a, a reskin power armor paint for like 800 to a thousand it works for almost all the power armors and sometimes they're 1600 but even still over three months we're losing out the ability to grind 6,000 atoms because you can get 2,000 a month is this 6,000 atoms worth of stuff i don't think it is so i was super stoked about this this whole system seeing the rewards now it's it's looking a little underwhelming but there's certain rewards like the wallpaper i must have this thing I must have. There's, you know, the plushie I must have, the backpack I must have. There's certain rewards in here that I'm like, okay, I need that in my game. The hanging raider cage, the the weapon paints, the wallpapers, you know, the fly in the jar. You guys know what I like here. And uh, I'd like to know what you guys like. Leave a comment down below what excites you here. But it definitely feels worth playing for these items. I just think they could have done a little bit better. But maybe the next season they'll do better. I don't know. Um, we're going to just have to wait and see but i think it's a good start but the fact that it replaces our 2000 monthly daily atoms that we can grind out or we can purchase whatever we want um i i think they can they can increase the value here because i don't know if this is 6000 atoms worth of value here especially because if i had a choice on what to spend my 6000 atoms on i wouldn't be spending it on ghillie suits or scrap kits you know if i add up all the things that i like here it's not 6000 atoms and if you were to pay the 150 atoms to fast pass now you're paying atoms and you're losing out on the daily atoms that you would have earned before so let's just say you pay 150 atoms for every single day that's 15,000 atoms which is going to cost you 150 dollars for all this stuff <laughs> and you're losing out on the 6,000 atoms that you would have earned before. So that's $210 deficit if you bought your way through this and are no longer able to grind atoms. Oh boy. I don't think, I don't think the value's there compared to what they had before, but I still think it's a fun system and hopefully they improve on it. Hopefully they make it better. And I do like a lot of the rewards in here. I like at least a dozen plus items in here. We'll have to wait and see how long it takes to grind up the score. If I have to log in and play the game for just a couple hours to get my pro progress for the day, then it's not too bad. We're just gonna have to wait and see. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's the legendary run season one overview. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And uh, for those of you who have subscribed to the channel for follow up videos, I haven't been posting for the last week been taking a little bit of a break uh, but I have a whole bunch of follow-up videos to edit a uh, bunch of really cool spotlights my my own personal builds and uh, you know funny moments and all that stuff so we're gonna have more follow-up stuff rolling out on the channel over the coming weeks yet again uh, just was taking a little bit of a break there but now with the seasons coming out we're sure to have more videos rolling out on the channel so don't worry about that be sure to uh, subscribe if you're not already and if you are just hang in there we're gonna have more content rolling out next week boom uh what did you guys think of the overview here the legendary run are you excited about it uh, do you think it's lackluster do you are you gonna miss the daily atom grind or do you prefer this let me know your thoughts down below i'm johnny five alive thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video bye now <laughs>